Hi everyone, welcome back. I am doing another episode for you guys. Today's inspiration comes from the country. Um, I'm a city boy and I don't like to rough it out. Obviously you guys know that if you know anything about me. But I like going to the country because there's certain things that uh, culturally things are made there like cheeses and the eggs are grown and the farm animals and all that great stuff. So that's where the inspiration is coming from today. Um, we are announcing new things on the community page on YouTube. So uh, please watch out for that and be involved and like and make a comment there. I thank you for tuning in. And so I'm about to start. I've got some really cool uh, flowers and, and the colors I picked mostly are in the oranges and yellows. I might pick up a little bit of red um, from the flowers that I have over there. Um, <clears throat> I've got a, uh, a farm sink that is already lined with cellophane and it's already pre-soaked with floral foam and this is a cool container and then I have a poly resin uh, pig it's the year of the pig um, and uh, I, I think this is pretty cool we had to do the flowers on top um, I didn't necessarily line this because it's poly resin but again that doesn't mean it might not have any um, uh, you know uh, cracks or anything like that so the best way to do is still line it um, again this is pre-soaked and then I have the windmill right here which um, you know I was thinking I, I can do flowers here and I could have it kind of cascading up and stuff like that and then I was like no that's not what I really want to do um, and I came up with it and I'm gonna do this right I'm gonna do this the first so you guys can, you can get that out of the way and if you watched uh, my carousel circus uh, theme video, you would see that I use a lot of this kind of tone coloration. Um, and what I did with this bouquet is uh, I gathered it up that there's some already drying up and I've tilted it this way so it can dry out and, and feel a little bit more brown and stuff. But right now what I can do is I already tied it up with cable tie. I'm going to cut this up and not necessarily I want them all in one length. And then I'm going to take some wired ribbon that I've already pre-cut and I'm going to wrap this around and then I'm going to give it a tie. And I love this wired ribbon because it lets me control it. If you look at it, it's like a, a two-tone one. It's like a red burgundy with an orange mixture on this. Let me, uh, and then kind of give it this really cool, you know, cascading effect and brings your eye down. Cut your ribbon using dovetails. And you have ribbon, so you can actually make these big, bigger like this and play around with it. And then the cool thing about this is instead of doing a floral arrangement on the bottom and having a cascade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some LED candles and I am going to uh, kind of just place them in the middle and you can do threes and you can even do smaller votives in there and so forth But I think this is just a simple great way you can use this on your food display or you can use it as a tablescape it can even be uh, a, a table an escort card table Arrangement or you can do multiples of these so there's a lot of cool fun things you can do with that with the windmill That's really cool. And then I'm gonna start with my uh, my piggy and the piggy um, because the the farm sink I'm gonna do a little bit more lower pave arrangement this one I'm gonna do a little bit loose and um, and gardening so that I'm going to start with uh, my vertical 
flowers first. And this is grasses. See, that's making it full too as I'm going down. So you can bring it down to the lip too, just to cover. It's fine. What you're doing is also creating movement. Oh my God, I have these yummies still. Insert it. Look how it's chaotic. Uh, the arrangement, but it's so beautiful. Um, there's a lot of uh, fun things to go in and I'm gonna move this around so I can see where I need to continue to insert flowers in. And then we've got the yarrow. And yarrow dries up beautifully too. I could have mixed in yarrow in that bouquet as well too if I wanted to. I'm gonna use some tight. Then I'm gonna take my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange spray roses. I'm gonna clean off a little bit of the greenery so it doesn't become heavy when it's on top visually, because the, the darker the color is, the heavy visually it is. Look how cool that looks. Amazing, right? I think that's really cool. Um, I have some ranunculus, but I'm not gonna put it. So now the other one that I'm gonna do is the farm sink. And with that said, this is gonna require a little bit more patience because I'm gonna use the flowers tightly. So I'm going to start off with my bulkier form flowers, which is the yarrow. And I'm doing an insertion just right above the lip of the container so it's not below the container, it's right above it so that you can see the flowers. Guys, you know, make sure you you know, you go onto the community page. There's a lot of new stuff that we're announcing there. You know, I'm reading all those comments. I can't necessarily answer all of them and you know, uh, if you guys know uh, my schedule, it's quite hectic. Uh, I, I travel a lot and uh, uh, in between that I do a lot of events and then I have styled shoots and then I have projects. Uh, just came back from uh, another trip. But look at this, so beautiful, so beautiful. Got these beautiful flowers that we can use, and then I've got the Bavardia that I can tuck in. Just a couple sprigs. Again, I don't like too much greenery in here, but let's add that. And add this. The way it'll like lay on the on the Arrangement is fine as well. You can tuck it in like that. So it doesn't feel like, just add a little bit. Like who wouldn't want to receive something like this, right? Or just a cute presentation. You can use this bathtub for uh, the sink, actually not the bathtub. Um, for even not flowers, right? If you were presenting little bottles, uh, you can do an ice, uh, mini ice in here and little bottles of drinks um, you can put to serve. I'm gonna clean up the space. I'm gonna then style the table and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how this all pulls together so beautifully. Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned.
Hey everyone, so I'm done styling the table and look how amazing this turned out. You've got the farm sink, you've got the uh, windmill and you've got the pig as uh, the country inspiration. I hope you go onto my community page on YouTube. We've got a lot of announcements there. There's new, make comments, like. Uh, thank you again for watching the video and following me on all the social media. Uh, without you guys, I can't do these videos. I love you guys and peace out.